not enough room. Once I had my own room, so did my sister Chris. We had two scare rooms that looked like this. We had lots of space for our beds and our chairs, our clothes and our books and our big stuff bears. But then Mom said, "Baby's coming soon." Chris and Pat, you must share Pat's room. Oh no! cried my sister. I won't share with Pat. I won't. My own room, and that is that. Look at this drawing, I said to Chris. Your very own room will look like this. A rectangular room is a very good shape. We can make your rooms with sticky tape. I'll give it a try. My sister said, so that day the moved her boots and her beds, her clothes and her chairs, and her big stuffed bear, into that room with a rectangular shape that we made by using sticky tape. But my rectangular room seemed kind of small. Maybe a triangle room was the best shape of all. We must move again, I said to Chris. We can make two rooms that look like this. So we moved our beds, and we moved our chairs. Our clothes and our books and our big stuff bears into two rooms with a triangular shape that we made by using sticky tape. We must move back, I said to Chris. The corner is small in a room like this. So we move things here and we move things there. Back to use two rectangular rooms inside one big square. I need some rest, my sister said. She flopped right down on her comfortable bed. Oh no! I said. We must move once more. You need a window, and I need a door. Just one more time, I said to Chris. We need a rectangular room that look like this. So we moved our beds, our books, and our chairs, and our our clothes, and our toys, and our big stuff bears into the rooms of rectangular shape that we made by using sticky tape. My sister said, "Now listen, Pat. No more moving, and that is that. But one day the baby pulled up the tape, and we forgot all about its rectangular shape. And soon after that, Mom said, 'Girls, close your eyes. I have got a traffic surprise.'" Now my sister and I never ever need tape because our big scare room is the very best shape.